Hi, in this lesson, we will learn how to transform shapes. Shape transformation is the process of manipulating a two-dimensional object on a coordinate plane. Here are three different ways that shapes can be transformed in a P5JS sketch. Translation, rotation, and dilation, or scale. A translation is the act of moving a figure from its original position on the coordinate plane without changing its shape, size, and orientation. To translate a shape in P5JS, we use the translate function. The origin, 00, of a P5JS canvas is located at the top left-hand corner of the canvas. In this example, a 100 pixel square can be drawn at the origin by setting the X and Y position of the square to 0, 0. The translate function changes the origin point of the coordinate system, meaning the X coordinate and Y coordinate of the origin of the plane will be shifted by the amount of pixels passed to the translate function. For example, if translate 100, 100 is called before drawing the square, the origin will shift 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down before drawing the square, making the origin, 0, 0, now located at 100, 100. Therefore, when a square is drawn with x and y coordinates 0, 0, it will be drawn 0 pixels to the right and 0 pixels down from the origin, which is now 100, 100. But what happens if we translate multiple times? If the translate function is called more than once, the origin will be shifted again. For example, if translate 100, 100 is called after translate 100, 100, it will shift the origin 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down from the shifted origin. Therefore, the new origin will be located at 200, 200. Rotation is when we rotate a shape by a certain angle. To rotate a shape in P5JS, we use the rotate function. Before discussing how the rotate function works, let's talk about the two units of measures for angles. The most common unit we use is degrees. A degree is a unit of measure used to indicate the measure of an angle in a plane. One full rotation is equivalent to 360 degrees. One quarter of a turn produces an angle that measures 90 degrees. One half of a rotation creates an angle of 180 degrees. Three fourths rotation creates an angle of 270 degrees. While angles can have measures greater than what is shown, by doing multiple rotations, we will mostly only look at angles measured up to 360 degrees. P5JS provides a helpful function called degrees that converts given radians to degrees. But what are radians? Angles can also be expressed in radians. Radians are used in many areas of mathematics, such as trigonometry, calculus, and more. A full rotation expressed in radians is 2 pi, similar to the circumference of a circle. One quarter of a turn produces an angle that is half pi. One half of a rotation creates an angle of pi. Three fourths rotation creates an angle of three pi over two. While angles can have measures greater than what is shown by doing multiple rotations, we will mostly only look at angles measured up to two pi. One radian is about 57.2958 degrees. Thankfully, P5JS also provides a helpful function called radians that converts given degrees to radians for us. The rotate function rotates a shape by the amount specified. By default, the angle mode is in radians. So if we want to rotate by 45 degrees, we would first convert the degrees to radians by calling radians 45 and then passing that to the rotate function. This would result in the square rotating by 45 degrees in the clockwise direction. To rotate in the opposite direction, you could provide negated degrees. In other words, to rotate 45 degrees in the counterclockwise direction, 
we would use negative 45 degrees. Notice in both examples that the rotation occurs around the origin of the canvas. To rotate about the center of a shape, the origin should be shifted to be located at the center of the shape. The center of the square is located at 75, 75. Using the translate function, we can shift the origin to the center of the square and then rotate the square. The transformation that causes 2D shapes to stretch and shrink vertically or horizontally, but a constant factor is called scale. To change the scale of the size of a shape in P5JS, we use the scale function. Let's transform the scale of the square that is currently 100 pixels wide and tall. The first argument passed to the scale function scales a shape by a given percentage expressed as a decimal. For example, if you want to expand the shape by 100%, we call scale 1.0. Nothing appears changed here because scaling at 100% is the same as the original. To double the size of the square, we call the scale function and pass 2.0 as an argument. This scales the square by 200%. To shrink the shape by half or scale by 50%, we write scale 0.5 before the shape. Shape transformations create very interesting animations. Let's try one. Using variables, we can animate the transformation of a shape. For example, to animate the scale of a shape, we can initialize a variable called size to 1.0. On each iteration of the draw loop, we can increment the size variable by 1.0 to increase the scale by an additional 100%. On each loop, it grows by another 100%, again and again, and so on. To scale from the center of the square, we can also change the rect mode to center. Let's head over to the editor to practice creating these transformations.